A geode is a spherical rock that has a small hollow opening. It's also lined inside with crystals. These are found all over the world, but mostly in places like deserts, volcanic ash beds, and anywhere with lots of limestone. Hey guys, today we are going to be painting a watercolor geode using salt and some glitter paint as well as some metallic paint. Let's get started. The first step is to paint a large oval like ring and you don't want to make it perfect. You want it to be sort of bumpy because after all, a geode is made of minerals. I'm going to be sticking with mostly blues and purples for my color palette. I can add a couple colors together, but don't want to vary them too much. Now to blend these colors and create some lighter areas, I'm taking just water on my brush and spreading that watercolor that I already have down with water until I get some light areas. I've done my two sets of rings separately with a dry area between them so they don't run together. I'm also leaving the core in the center open so that I can paint that later with some darker colors without letting them run into my current colors. Next, I'm going to sprinkle salt onto the very wet parts of my painting and let it dry. The salt acts as a resist and actually pushes the watercolor away. This will leave white spots where the salt is and darker spots around it, creating a very cool crystalline effect. After I've let the painting dry overnight, it's time to wipe the salt away. After I've wiped all the salt away, I'm ready to go paint my next layers. Using darker colors, I'm creating a dark center core, which I'll later add glitter onto. Next, it's time to add some rings. So using metallic paint, in this case gold, I'm going to add rings on the inside and outer layers of my geode. I'm also going to be adding other rings using blues and purples as well. Geodes can be made in many different ways. For example, in volcanic rock, geodes can start out as bubbles. The crystals inside are formed when groundwater picks up minerals like quartz, amethyst, and calcite, and dissolves into the groundwater, which then gets deposited inside of the developing geodes. Now this happens over a long period of time, and eventually they turn into these beautiful geodes filled with colorful crystals. When I have as many rings as I'd like, the final step is to use glitter. Now you can use regular glitter or glitter paint and you're going to use quite a bit of it in the center to make it look like those crystals in the center of the geode. And I'm also spreading a little bit around some of my layers. And there we have our watercolor painted geode. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.